connection speeds is my next thing I have written down that I want to show you. This uh, explains to you what types of connections people are on when they're coming to your website. Most of the time you will see cable and DSL up at the top. Uh, you'll see T1 from people who are in a corporate environment and unknown for things that can't be measured with probably some kind of a high speed internet connection. You see people are still on dial up but not a high percentage. And you still have somebody here on ISDN. Uh, and OC3 is probably a corporate network. But looking in here tells you how you can design your website uh, for different speeds. Are you, this can help you determine do you want to have high resolution graphics on your site? Do you want to have medium resolution graphics on your site? Look at where your client, client base is coming from, and that can help you decide what kind of images and what kind of advanced features to put on your site. And the last thing that I'm going to show you now, but there's no data in the Max's gallery um, system because this is a brand new feature. Google is very, very slow to adopt tracking features for cell phones. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it, and they have done a lot to advance the usability of uh, mobile marketing, but they haven't yet started tracking it. But a new feature in here is showing you mobile uses of, from people, what devices they're on, and what mobile carriers they're on. And both of these are blank in the Max's uh, system here because no data was available back then or the data wasn't tracked back then. But it is now, and uh, from this point forward, anybody who has analytics on their website, they will be able to, to view this kind of information. Uh, and that's where we're going to be, of course, focusing a lot of our attention uh, as we move forward on, on the rest of our sessions. So to, uh, as an overall uh, conclusion of all this, the, the th one thing I want you to realize is that the analytics tracking on your website is very, very important. But don't get paralyzed by looking at the information. It can be very curious. You can spend hours looking at it. But if you find yourself be becoming in enthralled by the information and you're not getting any work done, then you're probably experiencing a paralysis by analysis. So just stop, walk away from it, think about what, you, what you've uh, what you've read and then decide for yourself well what of that was interesting or useful how can I use it uh, or is it just a curiosity for me um, the curiosities are great it gets you thinking on how to continue your marketing strategies but unless you find it absolutely useful try to put it off to the side so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, distract you from your your ultimate goal which is to design a website and, and have an online marketing strategy which is going to produce you some money uh, so that concludes our topic for today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to read through, similar how we did today with the, the analytics, I'm going to show you how to read through the Webmaster Tools. I do have another Webmaster Tools account, which I'll be able to show you uh, and, uh, and show you some interesting things with. And then if we have enough of time, I'll probably uh, springboard into, into another topic. But our session tomorrow is at 2 p.m. Hopefully everyone's uh, Sunday morning activities can get out of the way. And maybe you can sit down uh, for an hour and a half in the, in the afternoon and come back and, uh, and watch us. Let me see if there are any questions in the chat room. Nope, no, nobody has any, any questions. Uh, so this is going to be archived again online until uh, September 4th. And then after that, it'll only be available uh, on DVD that we are that we are filming. So, this is uh, Matthew Perosi with the Jeweler Website Advisory Group. I'll see you next time. Uh, you want to click the stop broadcast button over there.